Now we're gonna look at multiplying complex numbers. So if we have two generic complex numbers and we wanna multiply them, then basically what we wanna do is take each of these and multiply by each of these. So we're gonna do A times C, A times DI, BI times C, and BI times DI. So you get AC plus ADI plus BCI plus BD and I times I is I squared. Remember that I squared is equal to negative one. So if we multiply BD by negative one, then that becomes that becomes a negative B, D. And then combine your like terms or combine the real parts together and the imaginary parts together. So these two don't have an I on them, so those will get combined together. And these two have an I on them, so AD plus BC times I. So you can remember this if you want, or every time you wanna multiply two complex numbers, you can actually just do what we did. Some people like to call it FOIL. Um, I just like to say multiply everything over here by everything over here. So let's look at an example. Example six, we're going to multiply two minus five I by eight plus two I. So again, I want to multiply each of these by each of these. So two times eight, 16, 2 times 2i two is 4i, negative 5i times 8, negative 40i, and negative 5i times 2i is negative 10i squared. And so remember i squared is equal to negative 1, so negative 10 times negative 1 is a positive 10. So this becomes this with the positive 10. So the I squared basically changes the sign on this term right here. And then combine your like terms. 16 and 10 is 26, and 4i minus 40i is negative 36i. So your final answer would be, in complex form, 26 minus 36i. Another way you can do this is some people like to multiply using the box method. The box method includes setting up a box where you have each term, so the two minus five i on the top and then the other expression, the a plus two i along the side. And then you multiply in each box, you multiply the number to the left and the number on top. So eight times two, 16, eight times negative five i, negative 40i, 2i times 2, 4i, and 2i times negative 5i is negative 10i squared. And then inside the box, you see the i squared can be changed to negative 1, so negative 10 times negative 1, and that becomes a positive 10. And then just combine terms in the box. So 16 and 10 are the same, so that'll be 26 and 4i and negative 40i have the same terms, so that becomes negative 36i. So that's just another way to work the same problem.